I know we live in this world. I know. I know things are hard. I get it. You know, it's hard to lose weight. It's hard to start a business. It's hard to be a father, a good father. It's hard to be a good mother. It's hard to find someone to fall in love with and get married and all that type of shit. I get it. It's hard, right? But I'm going to tell you something. Shortcuts will fuck you in the long term. It may seem like that shortcut is a good thing to do in the very beginning. I'm telling you, it might. And I've done all types of shortcuts. I've done shortcuts to lose weight. I've done shortcuts to make money illegally. You dig? I didn't want to do the typical square shit. I didn't want to go get a job. I, I didn't want to go get my LLC when I started doing this business. I just said, fuck it. I'm just going to do it. But what you don't realize when you do shortcuts, you're setting yourself up for failure long term. You're setting yourself up for failure long term. You're setting yourself up for failure long term and you're making it a lot harder on yourself than it has to be. Real shit. So let's talk about it. So a shortcut that I did 10 years ago. No, 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 it was about 15. I'm 38, so I think I was about 24. I have always been a big dude my whole life, right? So most of the time, like when I was, so to speak, skinny in college, I was skinny fat, right? I was about 215. Um, I was like about a, I mean, my body fat percentage was low. I was like a 15% body fat, but I wasn't working out. I wasn't in the gym. I wasn't working hard. I wasn't doing none of that shit. Um, but after college, I started to gain weight. You know, I started to gain weight. When you're in college, you're, you're walking. You know, you're walking a shit ton. You're walking miles. I used to walk, you know, a shit ton of miles daily. You dig? So, from walking, I stayed in shape. And I was young. You know, I'm like 22. You know what I'm saying? 22, 23. So I was able to keep the weight off. But after college, what happened? I was sitting in front of a computer every day, drinking every night. And I, just, I started gaining weight. I went from 215 to about 262 over the course of two years. Now, me at 240, for my body frame, my height, 240, I'm in good shape at 240. I'm in great shape at 240, okay? All I had to do was lose about 20 pounds, and I would have been fine. But I was like, you know what? I, I like partying. I like drinking too much, man. Fuck that. I'm just going to take the shortcut. So what did I do? I started taking diet pills. I remember this. I started taking, I went to CVS, and I got me some diet pills to lose 20 pounds. And nigga, I felt like a fucking crackhead. I felt like a dope fiend. Them goddamn diet pills will kill your ass. I didn't go to the hospital or no shit like that. I took that shit for about a week. I lost about 10 pounds real quick, and I felt like a dope fiend. Rather than do the long-term healthy thing, which would have been going to the gym, eating clean, building uh, a beautiful habit that I could have followed for the rest of my life because no matter how much weight you lose, and I've talked to a lot of people that have lost a hundred and something pounds, 60 pounds, and they, they always say it's a battle every single day. Like a good friend of mine is a comedian who has been sober from drugs and alcohol for over 20 years. And he said, every day is a battle that he, he still battles with in over 20 years. He still wants to get a drink. You know what I'm saying? He still thinks about it. It's the same thing with food, you know, people don't want to talk about it, but food is the biggest addiction in this country. It ain't, it's nothing else. It's not liquor. It's not drugs. It's food. Food. You know, we have been programmed in the Western world to believe that food is a comfort blanket and not whole foods, not salmon and, uh, you know, salmon and leafy greens and kale and all that shit. No, but bad food. So that fucked me in the end because I ended up gaining the weight back and in turn ended up gaining a shit, a tremendous amount of weight on top of that. So, you know, it fucked me in the turn. And then let's talk about, um, the other shortcut, the one that got me damn near sent to jail. So 
I was taught this, and this is not this. This doesn't make it right. This doesn't make it a good thing. I was taught how to hustle. 14, 15 years old. And we ain't talking about drugs, but what I was selling was illegal, right? I was doing all type of crazy shit when I was younger, and whenever my business in PR, when I worked in rap, would dry up. I would start hustling. I would go hustle. That's what I did. I ain't got to go into details on what I was selling, but let's just say it wasn't no pharmaceuticals and it wasn't the most legal shit either. So eventually I got caught. See that quick, fast money, quick, quick diet, you know, lose 30 pounds in 30 days. That shit is terrible. When it comes to building habits, you have to build habits of working hard daily. So when it comes to building, making money, you got to build the habit of waking up at 630 in the morning when the market opens here in the West Coast, on the East Coast, 930, and getting in front of the charts and reading the charts and learning what EMA is, learning what VWAP is. And I'm not talking about WAP, bitch. You thought not WAP, you nasty bitch. Now I'm talking about VWAP, VWAP, you know, knowing what your RSI is, all of that. You got to learn that when it comes to option trading. It's the same thing when you're learning a new business or you're learning how to lose weight. I'm in the gym right now. I'm about to go walk in this gym at 721 in the morning. I woke up a whole hour ago and I'm like, damn, I didn't feel like coming today. I didn't sleep that good. But when it comes to building a habit to live a healthier life, I got to do the hard shit. I got to come to the gym. I got to go do my 20 minutes on the Stairmaster. I got to go lift weights for a good hour. I got to do that. You know why? Because it makes me feel better. You have to build the habits daily that can lead you to long-term success. Because once you get that success, rather than taking a diet pill, which is unhealthy as fuck, rather than uh, hustling in the streets and catching probation. I had probation for four years for what I did. And what I sold wouldn't well, even have made me that much motherfucking money. It would have made me maybe five, six hundred dollars. And I had four and a half years of probation for that shit and ended up paying three thousand dollars in restitution. Um, and then on top of the work I was doing, I had to do community labor. Um, that would have cost me another three thousand dollars in pay. So that's six thousand dollars. Right. And then another thousand dollars on court fees. So seven thousand. So something that would have made me four hundred dollars. Ended up costing me four and a half years and $7,000. Was it worth it? No. When I easily could have took the time to learn something new, a new skill, right? But I've learned my lesson. I'm saying this, man. The shortcuts ain't worth it, bro. Do the hard things that it takes you to build a habit so that you can build a legitimate business or so that you can build legitimate, uh, a healthy habit of losing weight or whatever it is. Don't take shortcuts, man. Shortcuts will leave you a long-term fucked up uh, repercussions, all right?